uh, in tune with uh, what we're doing. Um, Biden, Joe Biden, our El Presidente. He said something last week that was so utterly ridiculous and no one really called him out on it and said uh it was talking about guns because gun control is like the big thing meanwhile his son just copped a deal on owning a gun illegally disposing of it illegally uh he he was a drug addict um documented uh he wasn't allowed to purchase a gun, yet he did. He lied on the background check form and the application. Uh, these are all the things that they're saying have to be done in order to make this country safer. And they're trying to infringe on our Second Amendment rights to bear arms. And the fucking, the son of the president is walking away with nary a concern about his illegal owning of a gun, lying on a federal form uh, to get the gun, and disposing of it in a fucking garbage can. This is, why wouldn't you hold him to the highest standard of these laws that are already in place while you try to make new laws to legislate against legal law-abiding gun owners? Why not hold him up and go, look, even the president's son is not too big to have to uh, uh, adhere to, and when he's broken the law, pay his debt to, to society. But what do we get? A plea deal, nothing. Nothing for the gun charges uh, against this guy. And then we're supposed to turn over our guns or uh, uh, limit uh, our right uh, to, to uh, bear arms? Because they say so, the same people that have made up a whole different set of rules because he's uh, in that upper echelon, the president's his dad, so he's immune to uh, any laws uh, that dictate he, he's, he, he can't own a gun and he lied on, on federal forms to buy a firearm. Anyone else would be in jail. Again, Look at the uh, 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 January 6th people that are still rotting in jail for nothing. And uh, Hunter Biden cops a plea deal, walks right out of the fucking place. This guy hasn't had to post bail. This guy will never see a day behind bars. Tax evasion, all kinds of shit. And they're already talking about how he will not have to see a second uh, behind bars or in an orange jumpsuit. How you get these people clamoring to get Trump put away? Oh, his crimes of documents and paperwork. And the son of the president, Hunter Biden, won't see a second and they don't seem to care. Take that entire fucking list of crimes that Hunter Biden committed and is not going to spend a second behind bars for. And instead of Hunter Biden, put Donald Trump Jr. Put that in there. And then see how he doesn't have to serve time. He broke laws for gun crimes. He uh, uh, broke laws uh, for tax uh, crimes. And then Donald Trump Jr. will serve no time. Do you think any Democrat would be going, no, good. No, he shouldn't. This isn't a thing. This isn't a big deal. Or do you think they'd be going, oh, see, there's two different standards of justice for, honestly, you know for fuck well, they would be screaming for Donald Trump Jr. to be put in prison forever uh, for the same crimes Hunter committed and is getting nothing for. So the hypocrisy is just, it's typical. It's no surprise anymore. I'm not like, oh, I'm so surprised. Obviously, it happens. But then don't try to fucking pop up in an interview and talk about how this is perfectly fine and uh, there's no uh, grounds for jail time and stuff when you're trying to put the number one leading Republican candidate for president in prison before the election. Stop. Just stop. Stop. I'm so sick of it. 
But uh, I kind of made a little bit of a left turn there. Yeah, the gun trucks. This is our insane, dementia-riddled president talking about guns and how we need to uh, make the streets safe for the children and everything by limiting guns. Because I didn't know this. Guns are being sold like ice cream from trucks. This is astounding to me. Because a federally licensed gun dealer is required by law to run background checks on those he's selling a weapon to. And in most cities down in Philadelphia and New York, areas I know well, like up here, you'd see a truck pull up, pull to the curb and selling weapons, selling guns, selling AR-15, selling weapons. Well, guess what? You do that now, you go to jail. Yeah! Because a federally licensed... Yeah! You tell him, tough guy! I've been in New York. (laughs) Do I even have to finish? How long have I been coming to New York to work in this fair city? Well over 20 years, probably... Almost 25 years on a just about daily basis uh, earlier. Now, whenever I feel like it, I show up. Uh, I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a rubber band, (laughs) but I ain't never seen an elephant fly. No, I've never seen a good humor gun truck. I've never seen Mr. Softy got there. It is. We sell guns. They park by uh, Penn Station. You walk by and they're like, "Are you black? Are you black?" I'm like, "No, oh, no." Man. Yeah, they- oh wait, yes. <laughs> it's like the mitzvah tank, the mitzvah van. That I swear to you, I see weed trucks that sell fake weed. It's not even real. Yep. They sell gummies and edibles, but they're not real. You get them at a dispensary, which obviously I I, I get that. It's a a ruse. Uh, I'm sure other things get sold. Maybe out of the trunk of a Cutlass Supreme that just drove up from Baltimore, uh, there's a pistol or something in... Uh, up above 110th Street where they're selling some, I don't know, whatever. And that's not a legal, you know, they're selling. The idea that there are trucks pulling over to the curb in any big city and selling AR-15s out of the back of a truck is a monumental lie. Monumental lie that this guy's just saying like gospel and no one on the news is calling him out except for right-wing, uh, alt-media. Se- Everyone, every news organization should go, huh, if that's happening, and, and here's another thing, don't even discount it. Don't blow it off as a lie, even though we all know it's a lie. As a reporter, as a journalist, take what he said and go, wow, you're the, you're the head mug, the editor of newspapers, the producer of a, 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 a network newscast, and say, Biden just talked about these gun trucks in the inner city. I want you, the you, the young, full of piss and vinegar reporter, get out there and do a story on these gun trucks that are ravaging our inner cities with firearms. They're selling them out like Mr. Softy. Like a snow cone, like a push pop, a push up pop. (laughs) But no, no, no one even questions it. Has anyone stood uh, up in front of that mop headed deuce satchel fucking uh, uh, press secretary and said, Joe Biden, the president, actually said that there are trucks selling AR-15s and guns in every inner city. New York, Philly. Can you comment on this? Where can we hear about this? What what proof is there? Can you give us leads so we can do stories and get people more information on how we can stop these dreaded gun trucks? Nothing. Nothing. Because they fucking lie Endlessly. 
And, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. There's no recourse. There's no saying, no, you're lying. They could just lie, and it becomes whatever it is. Half the country, half the country adamantly and staunchly believes that somewhere back here, there are bells ringing. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Instead, it's uh, Kid Rock playing the <laughs> <laughs> ball with the ball. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I want a gun, mommy! Can I have money for a gun? Oh, Jason now. Down, <laughs> don't ruin your dinner. Lying satchel of cock fuck. But that's, you know. All uh, right. Well, Corey, L.A., we love Corey. Corey, what's up, my friend? 